like a sunflower that follows every movement of the sun so i turn towards you to follow you my lord like a sunflower that follows every movement of the sun so i turn towards you to follow you my lord in simplicity charity i follow in simplicity charity i follow like a sunflower that follows every movement of the sun so i turn towards you to follow you my lord in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ we are celebrating this mass and offering it for the intentions of all the donors of divyavani tv channel that god may bless them abundantly in their life and fulfill their needs and above all spiritually bless them and also we will remember particularly today archdiocese of goa st teresa of jesus kanakona parish for the departed souls of mrs margaret ds fernandez first death anniversary offered by the family members archdiocese of hyderabad on the occasion of mary esther joy's birthday for the good health and good future offered by benny and mary lena and joseph and family members also archdiocese of hyderabad in mary's basilica parish for the departed soul of pinky rashid offered by michel dominica and family members for a bright and blessed future of p alfonso sruti and blessings divine intervention for the online exam she is going to appear today afternoon so that she may get a good score let us pray for these intentions and ask god to be kind to these people especially the eucharistic sacrifice is a powerful prayer the best prayer that we can make to the lord because it is through jesus christ we do this and whatever we ask in the name of jesus it will be it will be heard and the second thing my dear brothers and sisters we keep the devotion of mother mary our lady of health especially i, I think we are all worried about afraid of uh, our good health because we do not know when we catch this corona and that's why we are all afraid even a little thing happens there is a lot of concern there is a lot of fear and we presume and we think something is happening to us so that god may continue to bless us through the intercession of our lady of health she can be relied upon for us to be healthy so let us surrender to her and today i want to tell you my dear friends today love focuses love focuses whereas sin distracts so you focus then you are loving god and sin distracts you are missing the target that's why hamartya sin means so if we are sinning in our lives not focusing on god and our relationship with god then we are getting distracted and that's what is sin is all about not focusing on god and focusing on people focusing on our careers focusing on other things of course uh, due focus is needed on everything but above all focusing on god when we take away the focus on god 
then we commit sin because it's only God who can give us that unity, who can give us that love and the fruits of love. So let us feel sorry for those moments we have failed to focus on God due to various things. And for those times we have distracted our, in our life. So let's call upon God and ask for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to, you, and my, to brothers my brothers and sisters, and sisters that I have, I have greatly, greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in, in what, what I have done, done and in and what, in what I, have I have failed to do. To do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most, most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for, for me to the Lord, to the Lord our, God. our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, Father of mercies, whose only begotten Son, as he hung upon the cross, chose the blessed Virgin Mary, his mother, to be our mother also, grant, we pray, that with her loving help, your church may be more fruitful day by day and exulting in the holiness of her children. May draw to her embrace all the families of the peoples through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Paul lived in Rome, preaching the kingdom of God. First reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 28, verses 16 to 20, 30 to 31. When we came into Rome, Paul was allowed to stay by himself with the soldier that guarded him. After three days, he called together the local leaders of the Jews, and when they had gathered, he said to them, Brethren, though I had done nothing against the people or the customs of our fathers, yet I was delivered prisoner from Jerusalem into the hands of the Romans. When they had examined me, they wished to set me at liberty because there was no reason for the death penalty in my case. But when the Jews objected, I was compelled to appeal to Caesar, though I had no charge to bring against my nation. For this reason, therefore, I have asked you to see you and speak with you, since it is because of the hope of Israel that I am bound with his chain. And he lived there two whole years at his own expense and welcomed all who came to him, preaching the kingdom of God and teaching about the Lord Jesus Christ quite openly and unhindered. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response. The upright shall see your face, O Lord. The upright shall see your face, O Lord. The Lord is in his holy temple, the Lord whose throne is in heaven. His eyes look down on the world, his gaze is mortal men. Response. The upright shall see your face, O Lord. The upright shall see your face, O Lord. The Lord tests the just and the wicked, the lover of violence he hates. The Lord is just and loves justice, the upright shall see his face. Your response, the, the upright shall see, shall see your face, O Lord. The upright shall see your face, O Lord. Great indeed are your works, O Lord, now and ever more. 
great indeed are your works o lord now and ever more the universe night and day tells of all your wonders you are our life and our light we shall praise you always great indeed are your works o lord now and ever more Great indeed are your works o lord now and ever more alleluia 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 The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Glory to you, O Lord. Gospel of Saint John, chapter twenty-one, verses twenty-two, twenty-five. Peter turned and saw following them the disciple whom Jesus loved who had lain close to his breast at the supper and had said Lord who is it that is going to betray you <clears throat> when Peter saw him he said to Jesus Lord what about this man Jesus said to him If it is my will that he remain until I come what is that to you follow me the saying spread above abroad among the brethren that this disciple was not to die yet Jesus did not say to him that he was not to die but if it is my will that he remain until I come what is that to you This is the disciple who is bearing witness to these things and who has written these things and we know that his testimony is true but there are also many other things which Jesus did were every one of them to be written i suppose that the world itself could not contain the books that would be written this is the gospel of the lord Praise, Praise to you, the Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear friends, today we are reflecting upon the theme be the version of you where you are. I repeat, be the version of you where you are. Jesus said to Peter, if it is my will that John remain until I come, what is that to you if it is my will that he is still alive or whatever that is remain until i come what is that to you follow me in other words jesus is telling them or telling peter do not get distracted by others when you follow jesus you tend to get distracted we are all i think pretty much like peter we get distracted and that's why i said love is love focuses and sin distracts so in a way what we are doing is breaking the first commandments what did what did god say the first commandment is love your god with all your heart with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength because 
God is worthy of your full attention and belief. He is worthy of your full attention. So, with all your heart, with all your strength, He is worthy of your attention and belief. So, my dear friends, do not get distracted by anything or by anybody. Stop comparing yourself to others. This is what we do most of the time, including priests. We compare, including nuns, we compare with others. The context Jesus is speaking about these words is this. Jesus tells his disciples to go to Galilee. Once again, and Peter, everybody gets there and then they're waiting for the Lord to see them. And Peter gets bored, like we are getting bored now with Corona. He gets bored and he says, let's go fishing. And they go for fishing, and then early morning, Jesus uh, comes there and asks, what did you catch? Of course, they did not recognize him because it was the early, early dawn. And they said, nothing. We caught nothing. We tried the whole night and caught nothing. Then Jesus says, try the other side of the boat. Then it clicks. And it clicks so much that they could not pull that out. But my dear friends, immediately John tells. Why John tells? Because as I said, love focuses, sin distracts. So when there is love, it gets to focus on the one who you love. So John is the one who loved most the disciples of Jesus. He's the beloved disciple. And that is, that is what happens here. And he says, this is Jesus. He recognizes Jesus. Where there is love, we recognize Jesus. And Peter recognizing Jesus, and then he was naked. Then he dove into water. My dear friends, one thing is sure that we can do nothing without him. This is certain. We can do nothing without him. Don't imagine yourself that you can do wonders without him. That's why Jesus says, so the context is after breakfast, the context when this happened, I want to bring it to you. The context after the breakfast, then today's reading comes. Where before this, Peter, restoration happens. Why restoration? Because Peter denied is going to be denying three times. So in advance, Jesus is asking him, do you love me more than these people? And then what does Peter confess three times? He says, yes, I do. And you know that I do. So what is antidote to sin is love. So my dear friends, if you have sinned against somebody, love that person. If you have wronged somebody, love that person. And the love will tell you what to do. So, antidote to sin is love. Today, in your family, if you have not done enough, then love them. If you love, then love. Love heals. Love commits. Love does everything. So now, Jesus is talking about Peter's death. And, and you should see this, that Jesus is considering this as a gift, the gift of martyrdom. Peter is given the gift of martyrdom. Am I right, my friends? He's given the gift of martyrdom. Matthew 5.10 says, Blessed are they who die for righteousness. And again, we have other verses where Jesus says, if you, if you suffer for my sake, you're blessed. But today, we complain about small, small things. And Many saints considered martyrdom is a gift. Not everyone, I am not worthy of the martyrdom. I am not worthy. So it is a gift that God gives us. But we, here we are, we complain about small things, little things. And today I can tell so many things I think uh, that we are complaining about. First, a lot of people say we are getting bored of this, uh, what you call, uh, this corona staying home. I can't go anywhere. 
And can you believe those people who wants to get home because they are on the road? They are away from home and you are bored of staying home. You're bored of staying home. But other people are dying to get home. All the immigrants, all the pe poor people. And you, you complain about small things like entertainment. You don't have entertainment. And people here are deprived of basic needs. Food, food they are deprived of. They are deprived of small charges to TA to go home. They are deprived of transportation. And here you complain about food. And some people like me complain about haircut. We don't have haircut for so many days. So, My dear friends, if martyrdom, martyrdom is a gift, what is the little inconvenience that should be talked about? So Christian life, that means we have not become disciples of Jesus. And imagine where we are, how far we are from gift of martyrdom. Or suffering for sake of Jesus. Or, say it very plainly, to follow Jesus. And Jesus says, follow me. Don't complain. So if you are complaining today, stop complaining about your inconvenience. Little bit of heat, little bit of inconvenience. Because we need to take life and take it as it comes. And now Peter takes his eyes off. Why? Because he's talking about... See, Jesus is walking with him and uh, Peter is walking with Jesus. During the course of following... So, John tells us, during the course of following Jesus, Peter takes his eyes off from Jesus. And what does he do? He just focuses on John and other disciples. What does he say? Am I the only one? What went in his mind might be? Am I the only one to die for Jesus? Am I the only one to suffer for him? What about Jesus? What about your beloved disciple? What about the disciple who leaned on your chest or your heart? What about the one who sits right next to you? John. It is like uh, in the parable of the prodigal son, the elder brother is complaining about the younger brother. Your son did this, did that, did this, did that. I think we all have this problem. Telling, oh yeah, the one you, you loved most, the one you had special conversations with, that is, Peter is referring to John. Jesus says, that is my business. That's my business. It's none of your business. And I have your path laid out. I have a path for you. Talk about that. You let me worry about, worry about John. Why do you worry about, your, about John? You need to worry about you and how you follow me. Not about others. Not about how they are following or how they are not following. Most of the times, this is not true in our spiritual life. That we complain about others following Jesus, how they are following, how they are not, and we compare ourselves with us. Of course, here John, of course, Jesus says, What is that to you if John lives until I come? Doesn't mean that he will never die, no. Of course, he was the last one because he himself gives that witness. He didn't mean that. Jesus didn't mean that. So he's the last one. Of course, he did not die the martyrdom. Different way. So how many times, my friends, how many times have you been worrying about somebody else? Most of the times we worry about somebody else and waste away our time. What they are doing, what they are not doing. Is it not true, the siblings, uh, always the siblings quarrel about this, what the other child is doing, what the other child is not doing, what brother is doing, what sister is not doing. What blessings they are receiving or not receiving. You forget your own walk with Jesus in this course. You forget your own walk with Jesus. Remember that. So get your eyes off John. Peter was rebuked other times too. Because he was walking on water. And he got his eyes off Jesus. 
Why? Because of the circumstances of life. The circumstances of life distracted Peter. What about you? Let Jesus worry about the circumstances. You keep your eyes on him. My dear friends, we must keep our eyes on Jesus in spite of the circumstances we are in. Be it ill health, be it danger, be it financial burden or insecurity, whatever that be. Even job insecurity, I think we should not get distracted. Let Jesus worry about the circumstances. I can tell you one thing what we had. When you get distracted, you take your eyes off, off Jesus and our relationship with Jesus is cut off. And we look to others, my friends. Maybe sometimes because there is a lot of jealousy in us that we look to others. Because we don't have what we want. It's not what we need, what we want. We are worried about blessings of others. Example, we say, look at the power they are enjoying. Look at the prosperity they are having. Look at the success they are having. Here I am struggling. I am a sincere fellow. I am doing... But remember, be the best version of you where you are. This is what Jesus is telling us today. Be the best version of what you are. What happened? We had a lot of saints, different kinds of saints. St. Teresa of Child Jesus. What did she do? I mean, she had nothing big to do. But she was the best version of herself where she was. In the little convent. She never went out. She never went for martyrdom. But she was the best version and she said, I do all things for Christ. I do all things that his, even pick up a pin and save a soul. That's, what, that's her philosophy. My dear friends, today Jesus is calling you, like Peter, he was calling you. Be the best version of you where you are, where you are planted. That is where. Do not compare. Because today, a lot of people are unhappy comparing to others because of jealousy. There is a lot of jealousy in each of us. And we are no exception. And another thing, my dear friends, self-righteousness. Self-righteousness may set in to our minds because, oh, they are doing wrong, but they are still blessed. I am not. I will not do that if I am the one. So self-righteousness. And today again, focus on your business with the Lord. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Stay focused in prayer. Stay focused in word of God. Get off your friend's paycheck. A lot of times we compare with others what the paycheck they are getting. And get off your friend's paycheck. Get off your friend's wife because she's beautiful. Think about your wife and her beauty, not others' beauty. And get off others' home. It's big, huge. It's better than ours. So don't compare. Self-righteousness will set in otherwise. God has called different people to do different things. Let me tell you. Peter is called in one way and John is called in another way. So you are yourself. No replica for you. No replica. God doesn't want. That's why our footprint, our fingerprint is never the same. It's unique. Everyone's fingerprint is unique. Why? Because God doesn't want any repetition. He doesn't want you to be somebody like somebody else. Some may have some gift. Sometimes some, some may have same gift. But the way God uses may be different. It, use, it is used, but it's used it differently. Like Peter and John are apostles. Both of them are apostles. Both are disciples. But they use their different abilities. They're not a competition. So you don't be thinking that your sister or sibling is a competition to you. Don't be thinking that your colleague is a competition. Don't be thinking that your boss is a competition to you. This is another problem. A lot of people want to pull down because they think that you are a competition. And Peter took care of the pastoral care and then he was given the gift of martyrdom, whereas John is not given that. John instead collected and gathered what Jesus said and did and then he has the gospel for us. So that he, he's the one for deep reflective type of life that God has given. And then finally he ends up in prison, of course. 
he was banished to Patmos Islands and that's what we read from Revelation. So my dear friends, each one is different. Give your, what you can do best is give your best effort in what you are doing now and where you are with gifts you have and then God will see how he wants to reward, how he wants to take you up. That's what Joseph did in the Old Testament. Wherever he was, he did the best with, at Potiphar's wife, uh, Potiphar's uh, home, he did best and God raised him to the next level. And my dear friends, we are all no exception. We want qualifications, we want offices, we want, um, you know, status. In my experience, I can say my dear friends, a lot of people want to say, I want to be like somebody. I want to be like you. That means, first we think, okay, they want to be like us, is good, but what they mean is, I want that. Why are you not performing your duties the way you should, where you are? Then God will bless you. You have got to be the best version of you who can be, you can be right now. Only Christ can give you success. So stop comparing yourself with others and stop complaining. God will take care of. Uh, when we started with uh, this, this corona, so uh, one thing that hit us badly is the revenues because we stopped going for any programs and we stopped going overseas for any help. So what happened? We only have 25% revenues. So my dear friends, I must tell you this. First, we worried. We were worried. So Jesus is telling us, let, let give that the worry to Jesus because first Peter 5, 7 says, cast your worries on him because he cares about you. And we stopped worrying and surrendering to Jesus and what happened? Slowly people started sponsoring masses and then donations. People sent a lot of donations. Of course, we cannot last till one year, no. But we are just surviving. We are not sinking. And God will take care. He will see to it that he will complete the year. Though it is very difficult for us because just imagine 25%. You are earning, let's say, 20,000 rupees per month. You need 20,000 rupees to pay your bills and you have only 5,000. What would be like your mindset? It will be very difficult, tough. This is the same what we faced. But we are able to continue these months with, your, with God's grace. People are supporting. But we don't know about tomorrow. Tomorrow God will take care. So let's not worry. So don't worry, my dear friends. God will take care. He will take care of more than what you can think of. And only what you have to compare yourself is rather yourself yesterday and tomorrow and today. Don't compare with others. And always not be jealous. Because then you are taking your eyes off. And you cannot be your best version. Rather love and pray. My dear friends, I would like to request you to stand up and pray. Loving Father, we thank you today for your word and ask you to bless, to bless our apostles, the disciples you have chosen in the place of apostles as we are apostolic church. We ask you to bless them, bless all the bishops and the Bishop of Rome, Pope Francis, and bless all our priests. Lord, may they not be jealous like Peter. May they not take their eyes off. You're giving each one their own charism, giving each one their own space, uniqueness. So help us, Lord, to be faithful and the best version we can be. Also today we pray for all our people that they may be the best versions wherever they are placed. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, today you said, do not complain. Do not be jealous of others, what they have. And maybe, Lord, sometimes it is not good for us what they have to have. So, Lord, give us the wisdom 
whatever that pleases you grant to us in a special way at this time of corona we pray that we be able to appreciate the blessings that we have even now and not compare ourselves with others for this we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer. prayer loving father in a special way we thank the way you have taken care of divyavani in the difficult times and we surrender to you that you will take care of divyavani and divyavani's financial burdens and other burdens lord you have started it and thank you for the donors that you have sent to help and continue to do it lord in a special way we ask you to bless the donors especially those who have helped us and who are going to help we pray that they may be blessed with good health and above all lord that they may not be restricted by their surroundings and situations especially today at corona that they may see beyond this that you can control all these things for this we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer now in silence pray for your own intentions we ask all these intentions through christ our lord amen, amen. For you, O oh Lord divine, our humble gifts of bread and wine, we place them on your altar, Lord, today. We offer you, O oh Lord divine, our humble gifts of bread and wine, we place them on your altar, Lord, today. Make them worthy of your love. Send your blessings from above sanctify these gifts o oh lord we pray take our hearts take our minds take all we have make them thine o oh, take our hearts take our minds Take all we have make them thine Pray brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church Receive our offerings O Lord and transform them into the mystery of salvation so that by its power we may be set aflame with the charity of the virgin mary mother of the church and with her may be united more closely to the work of redemption through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and, and with your, your spirit Lift up your hearts we lift them up to the Lord let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god and to proclaim your greatness with the due praise as we honor the blessed virgin mary receiving your word in her immaculate heart she was found worthy to conceive him in her virgin's womb and giving birth to the creator she nurtures she nurtured the beginnings of the church standing beside the cross she received the testament of divine love and took to herself as sons and daughters all those who by the death of christ were born to heavenly life as the apostles awaited the spirit you had promised she joined the her supplication supplication to the prayers of the disciples and so become became the pattern of the church at prayer raised to the glory of heaven she accompanies your pilgrim church with a mother's love 
and watches in kindness over the church's homeward steps until the Lord's day shall come in glorious splendor. And so with all angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts. We pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with our Pope Francis and our Bishop Tumabal and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, our chief spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We were merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify your name through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, if your circumstances are not allowing you to focus on Jesus, help, ask God to help. They caught nothing. But when Jesus said, they caught a plentiful. And when Peter was about to drown, he said, Lord. And then he got him out of drowning. So my dear friends today, whatever situation you are in, just raise it to God. And God is going to give it to us. Calling upon him, our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed, Hallowed be, be thy, thy name, thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, thy will be, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, give us this day our, day our daily bread, and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, we forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And lead, us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Not, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever.
Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am I'm not, not worthy, worthy that you should you enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the, the word, word, and my, my soul, soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. My friends, all of you who are going to receive Jesus spiritually, pray with me together. My Jesus, my Jesus, I believe that you are present. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. In the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally receive you sacramentally come into my heart spiritually come into my heart spiritually I embrace you I embrace you as if you were already there as if you were already there and unite myself to you holy and unite myself to you holy never permit me never permit me to be separated from you to be separated from you amen amen We celebrate this festive day with prayer and joyful song. Our Father's house is home to us, we know that we belong. The bread is broken, wine is poured, a feast to lift us up. Then thank the Lord who gives himself as food and saving cup. The door is open, enter in and take your place by right. For you have been chosen as his guest to share his law and love. The bread is broken, wine is poured, a feast to lift us up. Then thank the Lord who gives himself as food and saving cup. Let us pray. Having received the pledge of redemption and of life, we humbly pray, O Lord, that with the blessed Virgin Mary's mother's help, your church may teach all nations by proclaiming the gospel and through the grace of the outpouring of the Spirit, fill the whole earth through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let's pray to Our Lady of Health and ask her to heal us and to keep us healthy. Virgin Most Holy, Virgin, Virgin Most Holy, Holy, Mother of the Word Incarnate, Mother, Mother of, of the, the Word, Word Incarnate, incarnate treasurer, treasurer of Graces, Treasurer of graces and refuge of sinners and refuge of sinners. I fly top your motherly affection. I fly to you your motherly affection. I fly to your motherly affection. 
I fly to your motherly affection with lively faith with lively faith and I beg of you and I beg of you the grace ever to do the will of God the grace ever to do the will of God into your most holy hands into your most holy hands I commit the keeping of my heart I commit the keeping of my heart asking you for health of soul and body asking you for health of soul and body in the certain hope in the certain hope that you my most loving mother that you my most loving mother will hear my prayer will hear my prayer into the bosom of your tender mercy into the bosom of your tender mercy this day this day every day of my life every day of my life and at the hour of my death and at the hour of my death i commend my soul and body i commend my soul and body to you i entrust to you i entrust all my hopes all my hopes and consolations and consolations all my trials all my trials and miseries and miseries my life my life and the end of my life and the end of my life that all my actions that all my actions may be ordered may be ordered and disposed and disposed according to your will according to your will and that of your divine son and that of your divine son amen amen um, we would like to request you to pray for us especially for the team here that we keep safe and healthy because we cannot take health for granted and i would like you to pray for me for the fathers here working and for the staff sisters everybody who are working here so that they are kept safe so that we can continue to serve you and that no nothing should harm us and nothing should stop us no hindrance so that you pray for that please The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Holy virgin by God's decree you were called eternally that he could give his son to our race Mary we praise you hail full of grace Ave 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 your faith and loving accord as the hand made of the lord you undertook god's plan to embrace mary we thank you hail full of grace 